I'm Selwyn Richardson. I'm a soil scientist. I'm with ADAS. I've got 40 or more years experience behind me of working in the field as a soil scientist. Right, now then, let's think about crop roots. I'm standing here in a field of all seed rape. Now, all seed rape roots will go down 150 centimetres deep. That is, uh, that is, they will go five feet deep, they really will. Cereals tend to go about 120 centimetres deep, but all seed rape will readily go down 150 centimetres deep. And in fact, if ever you get roots blocking your field drains, it's more usually all seed rape roots rather than cereal roots. Now, all seed rape has got a tap root. And when I look in a hole in the ground, I want to see, if I'm in an all seed rape field, I want to see a nice straight tap root going down like that and going down to depth. I don't want to see crop roots like this, this all seed rape root, look, its tap root is packed in and it's gone sideways. This is only because I've pulled this all seed rape root out from the wheeling area, so there is significant pack compaction in that area, and all seed rape roots do not like compaction. They like a nice open soil structure down to depth. Now, I've dug down here in this soil, I've gone down to what? 45, 50 centimetres, something like that. If I dig off down at this depth here, just below, below what would typically be about the plough depth, so I'm down there 20 centimetres and further down. If I dig this soil away here, I shall easily find crop roots. I can easily find white all seed rape roots look, going down through this soil and going way down to depth. They are throughout this soil here. There's a nice strong root going through this area here. When I look further down in the soil, if I go right down to the bottom here, if I pull this out, I know I can confidently find crop roots. The soil is surprisingly dry this year, actually, and the crop root, the all seed rape crop, is now sucking out a lot of moisture from this soil. But as soon as I take this out, I can see roots, white roots, look, going through this soil here. They're down around about 50 centimetres deep. My word, that soil is dry. But there are good, strong white roots going down to depth through the soil. They've picked up their nutrients in the surface within that top 20 centimetres. These roots down here are only after one thing. They are picking up moisture. So there's a lot of root going way down there to depth. I've only gone down to, what, 50 centimetres down to the bottom of this pit here. I've gone down here 50 centimetres. I know that if I took out another, another 50 centimetres, I would find roots, vigorous root system, look, going down through the soil there. A lovely lot of root going right down through this soil. Everywhere. It's not just going down the cracks, it's inside the soil. The roots are picking up the moisture from inside that soil at depth. So here, if I look at the topsoil, back at the topsoil here, if I dig the soil off, my spade is going in very nicely, look. This all seed rape, it follows a crop of winter wheat last year, but when I break this off, the soil is just crumbling away nicely, look. I've got no sign of compaction within this field here at all. You know, a little bit of compaction doesn't matter. Soil structure doesn't have to be perfect. If I found some clods, some solid areas, I wouldn't be too concerned, so long as there wasn't significant compaction in the soil. But here, I can't find any obvious compaction going down to that depth, or if I dig further down, down here at this depth, my spade is just pulling the soil away. It's breaking away really nicely. I'm finding some nice vertical cracks in the soil. That's what I want to see. I want to see nice vertical cracking going through the soil. I don't want to see horizontal layers in the soil at all. I want to see vertical cracks with the roots going down through the soil, as we have here. Plenty of root in this piece of soil here. But not only do the roots go down through the cracks and fissures down through the soil, but that means that water can go down as well. If the roots can get down, water goes down. If water goes downwards, there's less risk of water running off the surface of the land, possibly down the tram lines, and getting to the water courses. To a very large extent, what is good for the crop, that is, it's good for the farmer's pocket as well, but what is good for the crop is good for the environment. When a farmer does his soil protection review each year, that soil protection review is aiming to do two things, to keep a nice open soil structure from the topsoil 
through the plow depth layer, through down into the subsoil and way down to depth. And the point of that open soil structure is to allow crop roots to go down to pick up as much moisture as they can and to allow water to drain downwards through the soil because we don't want water going off sideways because that's how phosphate, a lot of agrochemicals, silt and nitrogen gets into the water course. So we want a nice open soil structure to allow the roots to go down to depth and to allow the water to go round to, down to depth. That is good soil management.